What would you discard? W, W, Y, D. That's my random pulls. I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to this version and you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. Make sure you have a player reference with you. This is one I created. It's got a Yaku table in the middle and scoring on the back. It's been really helpful for me. It's not comprehensive, but it's got all the key things that you need to score your hand. And of course, make sure that you qualify by picking a Yaku. You don't want a Shambo. Oh no. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed. We're going to say we're the dealer for each of these random pulls. We're going to do six and we'll alternate between east and south round. This is the first random pull. Seven crack is Dora. For this set of tiles, seven crack is Dora. We do have a five and a nine. I think I would try for dragon pwn. That's it. And then I would chi and pwn at will. Here's a pair of fours we could pwn. Here's something we could chi. Maybe we could draw into use of Dora. We could chi here or here. So I think for this one, I would really focus on getting this dragon pwn and let that be my Yaku. It would be low scoring probably, but if we could do it concealed, that would be even better because then we could reach -y. That would be my plan here. If you would do something differently, let me know. I would probably throw this one first. Then probably here, one crack. I would hold these for potential Dora use and then maybe this one. Dragon Pwn, no holds barred. South round. Random pull two. I think I would do the same thing here. We all have almost the same kind of hand, except instead of instead of a dragon pwn, we have our seat wind. Pwn of east. I think I would hold these to see if we could pair up and then pwn a dragon. But we do have chi potential here. This is isolated. We have a potential pwn or potential chi, and this is isolated. I think I would probably start by discarding these two. I've been told though single honors are far va less valuable than numbered tiles because you can pair up a number tile but you can also use it in a sequence whereas with honor tiles you can only pair them up and then potentially pwn them. So some might think to discard these first. I think I need to test that out and see how it feels. So for example, here we would pwn the east maybe and then discard these and try for cheese and then let the dragon or the seat wind be the yaku. I believe that's called yaku hai or fan pai. I'm not sure which one that would be. But there is some potential for mixed triple chi here. Three, four, three, four, three, three, four. So maybe seat, win, pwn, and then mixed triple chi. Perhaps throwing these would be best. Write in the comments section what you would do with random pull two. Would you throw these single honors? East round.
seven dot is Dora. Oh, we've got seven dot. Okay, I would try for Pinfu here. Try to use Dora. Here's a pair. There's a Chi. We do have a pair of eights, but we could also potentially Chi here. And then we have a pair here. I think I would try to draw into a Chi here. Discard the West pair. These are isolated. Potential Chi, Chi, potential Chi. We need help here. One, two, three, four, five blocks. So this would be the weakness at the moment. But there's also, if we could get a seven BAM or a nine BAM, we would have the potential for a mixed triple Chi again. San Shoku, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, leveraging Dora as well. So I think that's how I would try to play this one out. Pin Fu, potential mixed triple Chi, and Richie. Now, if we were going to play Pinfu, we would need to draw in the seven BAM because we need a side weight and a seven BAM would give us that side weight. So you gotta plan that out to make sure you have a side weight for Pinfu. But even if we did mix Triple Chi and Richie, that's still decent. So if you would do something differently for this set of tiles, write random pull three and what you would do differently. We're on south round. Seven crack is Dora. Okay, for this one, I think I would discard the east and the north first. For seven crack being Dora, I think I would try to hold out for another mixed triple chi, six, seven, eight, six, eight, eight. So we would need the six crack, seven crack for a chi here. And then here we have a pawn and a pair. So I would discard these two and this one try for Sanshoku, which is mixed triple chi. If you would do something differently with these, write random pull four and what you might do. We're now on east round, random pull five. Six BAM is Dora. I would definitely try for Pinfu here again. Get rid of these first. Here we have seven, eight, nine. These are isolated. Here's a potential Chi, potential Chi, and isolated tiles here. So we have a lot of drawing to do. But I think because we have mixed suits and only three honors, I would try for all chi. Hopefully draw in the six bam so we could get some Dora and then shoot for Richie so that we could maybe get some Uradora. That's the only way you qualify for Uradora if we could stay concealed. Here we have one, two, only three blocks we'd have drawing to do here and here. This would be random pull five if you see something differently. Oh, look, there's a potential for Sanshoku again, seven, eight, nine. If we drew in the eight and the seven, we could maybe do Sanshoku. It's funny how that keeps showing up. South round, last random pull. Nine, 
9 crack is Dora. Look at all these honors. Five. And we have equal numbers of suits. That's rough. I think what I would do, I would hold cracks since that's the suit for Dora. I would probably hold the one and the nine in case 13 orphans comes in. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards 13 orphans. So I think I would probably discard the dots first. Okay, let's just look at chi potential though with the number tiles. If we played a half flush, we would have six discards. If we played pinfu, all number tiles, we would have five discards. I'm the east seat, and then these two could bring score if we paired up. That's a big if though. So some might think to discard these, but that just seems like a waste to me. I think I would hold cracks for potential use with Dora. I would hold the one and the nine if I drew in more honors and ones and nines. I think I would focus on discarding these first. Cracks or honors and terminals. If that makes you cringe, write pound cringe. Random pull, six and pound cringe. Or write down what you would do differently here. I love 13 orphans. Kokushimusu, I believe is how it's pronounced. It's a beautiful hand. If you don't push it, you may never win it. It doesn't scare me, no fear. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.